Okay, I'm mostly ready to get started. I just gotta tell somebody how wrong they are on Discord a sec. Hold on. Hey, Coil. Sorry, I'm just um, telling somebody how wrong they are on Discord a sec.
Okay. Somebody had posted um, fan art of a character as very muscular. Uh, however, the biggest problem was uh, that was a female character, and somebody, for some reason, uh, accidentally used like a male model. Like you can tell, like the muscle structure and everything is like male instead of female, even though it's supposed to be a female character, right? And they're really muscly, so it's really obvious that they used the wrong model, like the wrong, wrong kind of model, and just like fudged it kind of. Which is weird because it's like very detailed, but then it's just like you used the wrong, <laughs> you used a, a male model like body structure for a female character. It's so weird. No, not even like that. Like, they had an eight pack. Like, they also fudged that up, where it's instead of a six pack, they had like an eight pack. It's weird because it's like really detailed, like the shadows and everything, and like they're wearing a scarf, which looks nice, and they have the sword, which looks nice, and then it's just really detailed muscular structure that's like slightly off because they used the wrong like model and they gave them an eight pack instead of like a six pack uh, anyway it was very weird and so I was like I don't see that much difference and I'm like mm. I don't know okay oh that's right wait before we go off and do something I have to figure out where we're going um read that note from him okay to yourself if you <laughs> i know you'll forget so i'm leaving the instructions to get to the ocean floor nice um so one two by the way i think i've finally gotten the hang of managing um stuff in persona 3 because I am now on rank 7 with Kenji, and I'm working my way through the other ones. One thing that I found that really helped was um, two things. The first is that, so during the day, focus on like social links and stuff, like right after school, right? And then during the evening, you can head over to the mall, and you can do the stuff there. So... It, Right now, I'm trying to work on my courage, so I'm singing karaoke, and then when the spooky area, like this, the haunted house is open, I'm doing it then. And then, I'll just go to him in that order. Um, and then the other thing is, um, oh yeah, um, if you have a persona like you don't have to have it equipped you just have to have it within your soul or whatever you know but uh, that's the same like arcana as they are uh you get like plus 50 more percent and it's really helped like it's really sped up progress um and with the fusion calculator it's actually fairly easy you know to figure out which ones to go for because i can just like control f for that particular arcana hey dude what's up So, we meet again. I hear the ocean spirit tracks have re returned, so I came to see it for myself. It's just a rumor, but I hear there's even tracks that run underwater. Oh, and guess what else? Just guess. They say there are sculptors out there that react to really big noises. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. We're supposed to... Hit, um, we're supposed to pull our train whistle um, in order as we go past these statues. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, right before this, I'm kind of in the middle of like a huge like run into Tartarus. 
I I need to get working on it because it's like right after the um, first exams and during exams I didn't go into Tartarus at all I just kept studying and stuff to prepare for exams Oops. Um, and it's nice now because nobody's getting tired it's really nice it's like holy crap because I got through like 10 floors and people weren't like tired after like even after that oh funny 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 so now i can actually holy crap is that a water bunny dang it gotta wait for him to stop nope dang it missed i'll mark that there's a rabbit here though I don't know. I'm having fun with it. Although, again, like, I don't think I'll be able to do all the social links in one go. I'll probably have to do it, like, on a hard playthrough or something, you know? Just because, like, try yeah, you can do it. It's just really strict. Like, I've pretty much blown it if I wanted to do all the social links. Vanilla, you know, max out all your stats, then go for it. But if you have, like, all your stats maxed out, then it's probably much more manageable to do in a run, so... Also like um Turns out that you can make a lot of things um like a lot of different personas by grabbing a pixie and the other starter one from the first floors and just kind of working your way up. And the thing is you can do that pretty easily if you're like later in levels and you have an, um, a good persona that can just like hit the weaknesses of, oh shoot, I forgot. I went past the statue. We're supposed to pull the, tra the whistle by the statue. I'll just back up a minute. Um, I don't know. I'm having fun with it now that I've finally gotten the hang of it, so. Not that this game isn't fun. Maybe I'll play it. Ah, I might as Yeah. Um. It's especially easy because, like, on the first couple floors, there's only two that can appear, which are Pixie and Asperis. And, like, for example, if you want Jack Frost, especially, I, actually, I just did this. Um, you need to get a Jack Frost with Dia, right? So what I did was I fused a Pixie and the other one that appears on the first couple floors, which got me Nekotama, and then I just fuse Nekotama with those two again, and I get Jack Frost with Dia. Bada bing, bada boom, right? So, okay, where are these, where are these statues? I said this was the first one. Oh, you gotta go? Alright, I'll see you later, Coil. Oh, there it is. Do I have to hit it? What's going on? Now, four words. Well, at least audio isn't super low at the start of today's stream. Might actually be a bit too high. Um, how's that? Do 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 Maybe a bit lower. There. Now I don't have to yell all the time. I have to speak clearly, but I don't have to yell. Okay. Look at that skybox. 
<laughs> Oh, it's so, like, flat and back and, like, not even trying. That's fine. It is what it is. It's a DS game. Not that there aren't games that look really great on the DS. It's just that, like, there's only so much you can do with 3D. Honestly, some of the best-looking DS games aren't even 3D. Most of them aren't. Like, they look okay. Um, but they certainly n don't look great by today's standards. But then again, a lot of things won't look great by today's standards in, like, you know, so long. There it is. Did it hear us? It did. Okay. Oop. We're in the rock. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. Let me just chug a chug a chug uh, along this way. Last one. I'm just gonna pull my whistle. Oh. That's odd. Where's the last statue? Hey, rabbit! I didn't see that earlier. Gotcha! Okay, where's that last one? Come on. That last statue's gotta be around here somewhere. This way? Keep an eye out for it, I guess. Hmm. I said it was somewhere around here. Didn't it? One, two, three. Oh, it's not necessarily on the island. Oh, I see. I thought it was just on the island. It's not. It's over here. Okay. That was my fault. So it's somewhere, like, right around here. Okay. Shoot, we're gonna miss the turn. Yeah, back up. Miss the turn. There it is. You ever hear the tale of Jonah? Wow, it's breathtaking down here, Box. Who knew the spear tracks ran underwater? It is pretty cool, I will admit. It's ridiculous, but it's very cool. Oh, sweet. <laughs> We're literally shooting, uh... Where'd it go? There it is. We're shooting, uh... There we go. Got one hit on it. No, you don't. Nice! 20 rupees. It's 
makes me want to play something with an underwater aesthetic to it sometime soon. But yeah, we're shooting torpedoes. That's nice. I like that. or something. Just a feeling though. I don't remember if we do or not. Oh. Evil. Evil train. Not even underwater are we allowed to rest. Alright, that's fine. We'll just go around. following us. Interesting. Seems like the uh, torpedoes have a slight tracking element to them. Could be wrong. Could just be placebo, but I, I think they do. That would make sense. From a game design perspective. More of them. Huh. Alright, let's double back around. They really don't want us getting in there, huh? turn left up here. Yeah, definitely a slight homing element. down. Hold on. Let me see. Quit Discord in the background. Anything else I can quit in the background? I suppose Google? Maybe? Although all I have open is like a HTML document and a regular document, but might as well close them out. Not using them right now. Use them later. play Persona 3, because there's a lot to that game. Ooh, I'll have to let him know that I added a dating um, tab to that one as well. Okay. Yeah, stinky trains. Okay. Finally made it into the temple, actually. So here we are at the Marine Temple. You're ready to go in, right, Box? Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Onwards! I wonder, did we get the bow here, or did we get the whip here? I want to say whip, but we might get the bow. Nope, whip. Yep. Now watch me. We, we 
sweep. Now watch me, Nene. -nee. More elemental choo-choos. That'll hurt us if we touch them. Okay, what do we got? Above sits the first. Above sits the third. Can't read the side. Second. So that means, let me just, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think I wrote that down right. Yeah. Buzz sits the fourth and the, this should be the third. Yep. Okay. I wrote down right. I think that pattern is repeated across the dungeon, so. Okay. Can't get through there. Boulders. Let's keep running through here. Oh, dang, I don't have a shield. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta go get a shield. Where can I get a shield? Shoot, I can't believe I didn't think of this till now. But yeah, I don't have a shield. Um, I got Mine got eaten earlier. Let's go back to Lineback. I think he said he's... Yeah, I gotta go back and get a shield. I can do it without a shield, probably. Well, most definitely, but it's gonna be harder. Um, let's go back to Linebeck because I think Linebeck said he sold shields. So, unless they didn't have one earlier, but maybe Papa Zuya, Papa Papuzia Village or whatever would have one. They didn't earlier, but maybe now they would. Gonna speed up the uh, travel time. Okay, because our shield got eaten by some monsters earlier. Ooh, there's Beetle too. I gotta. I don't think I have that much money. Yeah, 644. Um, that's a solid amount, but it's not like a thousand or anything. So I don't really have a ton of money to spend at over at Beetle's place. I need to make sure I get the shield first. I hear cannons. Whoa. Pirates. Ha. Ah. Mm. There we go. didn't have one before, but maybe they will now. Oh wait, I think the uh, shop was over this way. Gosh dang it. I really should learn not to do that. <laughs> okay, you didn't have one earlier, and you don't have one now. Okay, and I'm not buying arrows, because I don't have a bow yet, and I'm not buying bombs, because I can find them, and then I'm not buying either the potions, because I can find them from Beetle instead to work towards his uh, point 
card rewards. And if I remember right, we still have two potions on us. They're not as good, but there's no point in like throwing them away or wasting them just to grab another, just to spend some money here. So it said earlier that we could stop five shields from Bailey, um, not Bailey, um, Weinbeck, if ours got eaten. So maybe he will still sell them to us. I don't know, maybe that function is gone now that we completed his side quest, who knows, uh, but, well not side quest, but that part of the game, but anyway. Dang it. Yeah, sure. That's actually what I needed. Okay. It's probably more expensive than if we went somewhere else, but uh, the convenience is worth it, because that way we don't have to go all the way back. Because I think the only other place that we can buy them right now is either Castletown or that other wooden village, the wood village, the where they live in trees and stuff. And I... Uh, I would have to drive there still, so. Okay, back this way. Keep an eye out for pirates again, I guess. Seems like those first shots always miss. They're just like warning shots to like warn you that they're there. Yeah, they're not the most accurate, but there's three of them. And I have a feeling if you get down too low, they'll board you. Just a feeling, but... It would make sense, considering that they already have that kind of function set up for that uh, one story beat that they would reuse it if they could. Doesn't really matter which way we go here. Whoops. Missed the turn.
Oops. Just gonna make sure I turn here. Hey, that allowed it to miss. Nice. Dig it. They're on us. Come on. A bit more. Oh, we missed the turn again. Darn pirates. Any dolphins around? No? Okay. Looks like those evil trains are gone unless they spawn again. Which I acknowledge is entirely possible. Squids are still here though. Squids? Octopuses? Is this an octopus or a squid? What's the difference? I don't know. I've watched uh, Wild Kratts. I should know the difference. No, I, I don't remember the difference. Down. Nope, okay. Getting a better at shooting those. Nope, looks like we can just go straight in. That's nice. Don't have to worry about the evil trains. Now we're back with a shield. So let me just pull the shield out a minute. Because the shield can block those arrows. That's why I thought of it at the time. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't need you to tell me where the chests are. Nothing over here. Okay. Oh, Bob. Uh, is there a place with a natural bomb somewhere? Nope. Okay. That's fine. I have artificial bombs. Nah. We'll need the whip to get through here. Now I don't have to run around or try and dodge the arrows. I can just let the shield block them and not get knocked off. Okay. So let me see here. Uh, hold that thought, game. So it was one, two, three, four. Okay. One, 
one, two, three, three. Yeah, I think those arrows were there uh, to shoot you if you messed up the puzzle. How does that help? Ah. Hold on. So, now that we can turn off the switch, how does that help? Oh. Go back downstairs. And those boulders should no longer be rolling down that hallway, allowing us to get there. back. That's interesting. When I hop off those, they flash like they're about to disappear. That is odd. I wonder if that's the emulator or the game. Honestly, could not tell you. Nor are the choo-choos. Might as well. Probably won't be doing anything with them. Yeah, see, now we can go down this way. I uh, can't get through there yet. Can't get over there yet. Any hearts? Couple hearts, couple rupees. I guess technically several rupees, but it doesn't feel like it. Kill these guys, I guess. Ah! And then our mini map gets uh, all messed up for a little bit when it, we get zapped. Which is a nice touch. It doesn't do too much, honestly, in combat, if I remember correctly. But <gasps> Mini boss? For the whip? Who could have guessed? Okay. I watch him whip, whip. How does this work? Um, there we go. <laughs> okay. It was an interesting idea, but poor in execution. Opened many doors. Actually, it really does open many doors because now we can get to all kinds of places we couldn't before. Okay. So, up there is still... Oh, we might as well start here. Okay. Too far away. Edge up a bit closer. Hey, Indiana Jones it. Okay. Gotta wait for that block to come over. The whip is one of the most fun um, items in this game. I want to see say that the fact that that necklace said something about like destined to become the number one of pirates is a One Piece reference, but like I don't know for certain. I mean, it's been out for so long; it very well could be. Oh, uh, there's so many um, episodes of that sh show and so many chapters. I started on it at one point, but um, I fell behind, and I don't know. They just keep adding more and more and more chapters. 
and I'm just getting further behind. Same with My Hero Academia, although I'm still above the, uh, the enemy. Three rings sit before you. Grab only the farthest from your grasp. Okay. It's also a fun weapon. It's much more direct than trying to stun with something else. Yeah, it can stun enemies like the boomerang can, but it can uh, <laughs> pull on its tongue. But it can damage enemies unlike the boomerang can. Okay, so only pull on the one that's furthest away. So pull on this one here, should be. Because that one's the furthest away from any of the things. Yep. There's also that area that we opened up with the bomb that we gotta go do now that we have the whip. I also think we can get some more um, stamps now that we have the whip as well. Like I said, the whip opens up a lot of options for traversal. Nice, key. Okay. Uh, before I go and unlock that door, let me go do the bomb area that we found. Or the area that we found by using the bomb, I guess. Ooh, now that we, uh, have the whip, we can also grab this chest. Those thorns make good projectiles, too, to throw at enemies. Nah, not much, but need all the treasure we can get to get more sets of uh, train parts. Okay. And then over here. Yep. I wanted to do this before I forget. Ah. What? Oh, am I supposed to come back? No. the gimmick here. Hmm. I guess there's supposed to be more than one here? I don't know. No, oh, whatever it is. Clearly I don't have the required things or whatever yet to get through there, so I'll come back later. Just run, 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 run. Okay. More treasure. Nice. Throw a pot for old time's sake. Okay. Then we have this key. So that should be able should be able to unlock the area that's over here. And I think I saw a choo choo over here somewhere. Yeah. There's another one.
Okay, we already were here. That just opens up a way to backtrack. Nice. Hearts. Was there another? That was easy. over there okay so oh hello oh there's two of you now they can't do too much damage to me though I don't want to pull anything before I know what I'm doing. Better hold on tight, Link. I don't know where we're going, but... Oh. And that other one probably takes me back down. Okay, let's see what's up here. Another fight. Oh, those things be metal. Show me... Okay. That opens up a new area to get to. Wait. How do we... Do we... Okay. Um... Oh, I see. Okay. I have still yet to find a way to get up there. By normal means, but I've at least done that. to give all three to them? Okay, let's read this sign. Three blades in a row, retrieve them all, and the path may open. if I take all three out? Oh, was that all I had to do? Well, dang. I thought I would have to, like, do something else here. Okay. 
clearly I'm supposed to do something with these. But I'm not sure what yet. I wonder. Come on. If I drag this over here. Oh, nice! It went in. Didn't do anything, though. Okay. That being said... I wonder... Should I pull them all out? What happens if I pull them all out? Yeah, I don't know, unless they're supposed to do something. Maybe they're just there, to, I don't know, for fighting enemies? In any case, I got other, uh, other stuff to do. Okay. And then click, and then click, and then click, and then click. Ta-da! First try. <laughs> so, do it again. So, and click. Click and click. Tricky, tricky. Nice. Now we can get back up. Oop, heart. I'll take that. So, okay. Remember the placement of the blades. That knowledge may prove may prove useful in another similar room. Gotcha. So we're supposed to make upstairs look like downstairs. Let me just mark. How am I going to mark this? Uh, zero. I'm going to use binary. So I'm going to mark it zero. Dang it. Hard to draw with a mouse. So zero, zero, one, zero, one. Marking it as binary. A zero means they don't have a sword. One means they do. sword to throw at them. So I'll just remember zero, zero, 001. Dang it! Oh, okay, they have infinite swords. And then these guys are zero, zero. That was a nice one. Uh, one, zero, one. So both are like that. Okay. Then I gotta do that downstairs. Um, what are we like over here? Other than big jerks with the choo-choos. Okay. And then over here, one, Zero, one. 
grab this chest. Small key. Okay. Dandy dandy. And then all of these over here are zeros. So zero. 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 Okay. Hey, chest. Got another pirate's necklace. Can only be good. Um. Okay, so we have a key, and we have a pattern that we have to follow downstairs. So let's go back downstairs and try repeating this pattern. Okay. Okay, so let me think. I think it was... These two were both the same. They were 00101. 00101. So 001... 00... There we go. That's right, isn't it? Zero, zero, one, zero, one. Yeah. And then same over here. Zero, zero, one. And then these were all zeros over here. I think it was like 101 over here. Yeah. Nice. And then is this locked? If so, I have a key. I got the you got the lock. I've got the key. I just burned it up. He don't make him like me no more. Boy, what a good commercial song. <laughs> Speeding this up because this is boring. Oh, I think I'm supposed to drop on that, but I could be wrong. Pretty sure I'm supposed to drop onto that block. There we go. Let me hit this button. Hey. And just like that. Oh, hey oh. They be after me lucky charms. I don't know why I said that. Actually, they're after the key. There's one right in front, so I'll probably have to toss the key.
Okay, let's try using the whip this time. So they should all come at me, right? Yeah, I think I just have to outfight them. Unless there's another way of doing this, but I think I have to outfight them because there's one standing right in front of where you're supposed to bring it to. Dang it! I got close. Um, I have to throw it and then get rid of that guy and then pick it up again. I, can, I think I can do that pretty easily. Like, as soon as he starts appearing... Okay. Let's move it or lose it. Takes him a minute to get out of that animation. Just tack, tack, tack. Pick up the key. Ha! Take that, you creepy eyeball hands. Here? Nope. Okay. Just checking. Get it closer. Oh. Almost fell off there. Okay. Let's get rid of these thorns. I don't remember what this boss is. We're about to find out, though. Oh, hey -oh. Looks like I get up to the boss first. Oh, I see. That's the weak point at the top. I have to get there by going up and avoiding the tentacles on the way. Dang it. I supposed to get rid of that thing? Is it supposed to have the bow or something? Like, what? Maybe I can blow at it? Whatever, let's just try whipping and see if what happens. The eye makes me think bow. And the distance makes me think bow. But I don't have the bow. Do I need to get the bow? Oh! That's how. Okay, I have to rip off its uh, little thorns there and throw it at it. Okay. Dang it. Now if I can just get up there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's bad. I was just trying to hit the whip button. Okay. Coming. Tear off one of the, tear off one of its thorns and throw it at it. Oh, shoot, it's angry at me still. Let me stand over here and wait for it to shoot at me again. Okay, you now tear off that, throw it at that. Pop the whip again. There we go. Just some pause here for my convenience. Thank you. It's interesting because. This time we actually have to get to the boss first before we can even fight him. Like, he's actively fighting us on the way there. That's kind of fun. You can see me on the uh, screen on the bo bottom right there. Cat Cop's Barbed Menace. Hold 
on. Let me, since it seems like this boss fight is going to like using it, I'm going to switch over to this. Just for the purposes of the boss fight. It's not for me to look at. Um, I have it this way all the time. It's just for you guys to kind of look at and kind of understand what's going on better. Dang it. Didn't make it in time. Is he going to have... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And he's covered himself again. Attack him. Get his eye. Get his eye. Avoid the whip attacks. Best I can. Not bad. Are we on second phase yet? Nope. Looks like we're still on first phase. Missed. There we go. Left side. Come on. Okay, looks like we're on second phase. Yeah, we're on second phase. Same gimmick. I think we're... Might be in the third phase now. Can't tell. No, we're in third phase, yep. Now he's actively moving. Pots a minute. Ah, dig gosh dang it. I just wasted it. <laughs> well, not all of it, but like half of it. But yeah, I just start picking up the pots when I get the chance. I mean, that's not what I meant, Link, but okay. No! Give me back my heart! No, I need the heart. Go! That heart's gonna despawn. Gosh dang it. Hard to despawn. Okay, now let's go back to fighting. Okay, eyes exposed. I don't know if that missed him or if we have to hit him more than once now. Either way, gotta hit him again. Got it. Hey! Is that seriously yet? Wow. I expected him to have at least one more phase, but okay. <sighs> clearing these four temples out pretty quickly. I don't remember if there's, like, more we have to do after we clear the four temples and put the temple back, like, the tower back together. By the way, we're getting through this game fairly well. Okay, let me go back to the usual layout.
man, I keep thinking this, but that um song, like that last little sting, keeps reminding me of the Civilization Revolution games. Like it sounds very familiar to some of the music in that game. Way to go! You did it, Box! The ocean glyph started glowing. Heart container! Give me that heart container! Come on, let's go back to the Tower of Spirits box. Okie dokie, artichokey. Hey! Look at that! We're on the second uh, stack of hearts now. Halfway to max. Over halfway to max. Hey, Beetle Store is on the way. Nice. How much money do we have right now? Uh, not much more than when we went into the temple, but some money. Stop. What a clean stop. Hey, Beetle, what do you got? I have zero points. So, let's see, what do we got? And we also can't buy it at that price. Automatically? Ooh, not really. Okay, let's buy that. chug one of these potions. I know I said I didn't want to waste him, but if it's an auto-revive potion, yeah, I want that. <laughs> yeah, we should be buying all our potions and stuff from Beetle, just so we can get closer to his rewards. find a mini game or something that allows me to make some money like maybe the uh, captain's mini game allows me to get some money or treasure actually can we sell treasures to be um to lineback probably i want to say yes but even if we do we kind of need some for uh sets that we want i guess if we're going for the dessert set then I could just sell everything that's not related to the dessert set. Either way, we have to go to the tower first. Keeping an eye out for bunnies, because usually there's a reason why those signs are there. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be for dolphins? Either way, I need to keep an eye out for rabbits. Yep, rabbit. Got it. Ha! That's two more rabbits. Actually, if I look at my collection... Oops, seven rabbits. That's the desert area. I think we're headed there next. Yeah, I think there's still more stuff to do even after 
uh, we finish off the four temples. I don't know how long this game will take us. I can't remember how much there is after the temples, but I have a feeling we'll be able to beat the temples by tomorrow. If we keep at the current rate we're going at. Because we're not even halfway into the stream and I already beat that one temple. So if it takes us the second half of the stream to get to the uh, next area and find the temple, then next stream we beat that temple. So. Hello, we're back. Gene, the spirit tracks between the marine temple and here have reappeared. Yes, nicely done. Now there's but one temple left until all the tracks are restored. Once they are, we'll be able to enter the altar of the Demon King. Just one more step. To get to the next temple, do we have to go to a new land? Yes, the next temple is in a mountain of fire. But first, go reclaim the glyph that will restore the way to the next land. Let's go, Box. Whoopsie doodles. This bit of uh, game design music thing is fun, actually. There. Then the choir comes in. What's going to come in next? Ooh, drums? Nice. Ooh, and we got some chimes. Do I hear chimes? Yep. We haven't even gotten to the temple yet. This music gets more epic, too. Every time we make the climb. Okay. We made it to a new level. I wonder what's in store for us. We've defeated so many enemies. There's nothing that can stop us now. Right, Box? Well, why are you mumbling? You know I'm right. And even if you are scared, you should try to put that out of your mind. I'm pretty sure monsters can smell fear. So if you see those eyeballs there, uh, those things can call the phantom to our location if they see us. So we have to be careful of that. Yeah, those things. Okay. So we need to be able to attack them at long ranges. Then you stun them, get in there, and boop. Ah. I wonder how you're supposed to get over there then. Yeah, you can either stun them with the boomerang, which is better because it can go around corners, or with your attack them with a whip, I guess. And just like the phantoms, they can't see you if you're in one of these areas. So you can ambush them from there, too. Just taking a guess here. Oh, that's not good. Get that out of your mouth. Hey! Well, for better or for worse, we got the chest to appear. Just gonna run in front of this guy. Yeah, see, they can teleport over to me. Those ones can. If I get spotted. Same with the eye eyes. If I'm spotted by the eyes, they can also teleport to me.
key, okay. Wait for him to go by. Actually, I should probably try and kill that thing. If I get the chance. Not sure what that did. Gosh dang it. Killing that thing. Yeah, you can kill him. I guess they're not so annoying, but like, I don't know, they can be a real pain sometimes. So. Is that gonna hit the wall? It is. There we go. Ooh, new treasure chest. I was like, hoping for something like a bit more. Progress wise, but. Oh, another key. Okay, so that was. Progress. There we go. Bit of a snazzy maneuver there, if I do say so. Before we go up, uh, there's another area to our left where we have to go. I understand that, uh, oh shoot, get away from me, get away, get away. Like that the whip is a replacement for the hook shot in this game, but I still find it very fun. Honestly, more fun than I do the hook shot. But then again, the only time I've ever used the hook, sh hook shot was, um, no, that's not true. I've used the hook shot in, um, so the first time was in Twilight Princess. And then the second time was in the, or Ocarina of Time. I've used it there too. So I've used it a couple times. Never actually finished Twilight Princess. Got soft locked on a area and gave up on it. I was playing the Wii port, of course. Well, is it a port? It was originally released on there. It's odd, because technically speaking, that is the first place it was, um, like, the first system it was on. But it also is not the original system it is going to be on, right? Like, because it's originally going to be on the... Uh, GameCube. You want to know how we do this? 
now he teleports away. Oh shoot. Never mind. I, I mess up. I thought he would teleport away and then we could get in, but there's something behind there that's stopping us. Uh, so we'll need to figure out a way. Maybe it only goes up when the alarm is triggered? If so, I could lure him away by making some noise somewhere else. Come on. Haha! -ha! It wants me to take that phantom because it's so easy, but I want to take one of the phantoms downstairs uh, because that guy is not going to be any bother to us, but th um, having two of those down there will. Right? Oh gosh. Gosh dang it. Okay. That was more difficult than it should have been. Anyway. So. Let me just. Okay. Which one do I take? Uh, let's take this one. We can always take the other one later. If we need to do stuff over there. Hey, check it out. I'm a warp phantom now. <laughs> you know those eyeball monster things? They're called phantom eyes. If you draw a line to the phantom eye, I could teleport straight there. That sounds so nice. I'll never have to walk anywhere again. Okay. And if we try it out a minute, she teleports straight to them and wax them. It's kind of nice. Okay. Now, I need you to come over this way so I can hop on your shield a minute because I have a couple things I need to grab this way. Nice, Mystic Jade. Okay, that was what uh, Beetle was trying to sell us earlier. And then if we go over here, pull out the whip, should give us a nice. Yep. Another Mystic Jade. Okay. All right, come on, let's go. Let me get rid of that. Nope, wrong one. Now that I 
need to move out of that one. So what happens when I hit this? Nothing? Okay. It must do something, obviously. Um, okay, what can I do now? Oh, I can have her teleport over there. Right. So I can have you teleport over to this one. And then let me get rid of this one over here. Nope, too high. Oh, shoot, it saw me. Uh, head for the safe area, head for the safe area, head for the safe area. And kill it. Where is it? Where'd it go? Both of them left. Now, let's see. Still got the word out, so I better. Yep. Wait for him to teleport again. Okay. And then, now that he's dead, I can tuck over here. There should be. Yep. A switch for you to hit. And then I hit the other switch at the same time. This way. Kill that thing for me so I don't get spotted. Don't leave without me. Get that thing? Yeah! Go, Princess, go. Shoot, another one. Oh, wait, that's right. I can kill those things with my whip now. I should pull out the whip. Come on, keep coming. Ah. Uh, you stand there. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't go into the sand. Dang it! I warned you not to go into the sand. Okay. Yeah, she's too heavy. She'll... <laughs> She'll... <laughs> that'll happen to her. Okay. Call her over this way. She should be able to walk across those by herself. Nope, she's not smart enough to... Okay. Draw you a line. I'll come over this way. What's over here? Okay, I have to stand here. She has to stand on the other one. That should lower the spikes. Oh no, it switches us. Interesting. And now I can call her back over to me because she can walk over spikes, obviously. It might take her a couple minutes to get over here, but I got something to do in a minute. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm still looking for a way to get that other uh, door to go down over by that other large chest. So if I stand here... Okay. Uh, what's over this... That's the triangle one. Here. This seems like a good place to start, at least. And then I want you to come back over. Actually, go over here for me a minute. Oh, 
Oh no. I just gotta kind of ignore that, don't I? Okay. But you can't go on the sand either, can you? Nope, you're too heavy to go on the sand. Oh dang! Whip, you doing me right. Oh my gosh. I can beat those things by myself now. Nice. I need to get her up here to uh, push that open. Let's see. Ooh, go stand on... No, but then it'll switch me too. Let's pull this block over. That should allow me to stand, quote unquote, on both those. stand here. Nice. Those spikes go down and now I can stand here and she can stand over there and it'll switch us. Oh, now she has to go stand on it. Okay. Spikes go down. Now we come this way. And I want you to push on the gate with me. Nice. Key? Yep, key. Okay. Nice. Oh. I just noticed. Top left, there's two phantoms there that can teleport to our location um, if we get to... if we get seen. So, gotta keep that in mind. Actually, why don't you just teleport over there and kill that thing? It'll be easier than trying to swap you around another way. Do I have to have you walk over something for me? Maybe in a minute. Okay. Oh, I have to have you teleport over there for me. Okie dokie. So you can't go... You can go up there, but there's no point. Can't get up over there. So I have to do something to make sure you can get across there. Right? That's what I'm gathering. That or you have to swap with me somehow. Not sure what to do next. Let's see, did we unlock anything on this floor? Should show if we have a key somewhere, shouldn't it? I feel like it should. Oh, I'm not sure what to do next. Um Okay, let me go back downstairs. So let me switch over to her and have her teleport over to that one. Okay, so the key goes there. Come back down this way. Is there something else in this room that I missed? So there's this here, which obviously corresponds to that, but she can't get over sand, right? No, that was just a bit of fall attempt. Okay, um, shoot, is there a way to get over sand with her? I don't think there is. Besides teleporting. If 
And there's no way for me to get over there and, like, draw into a position where she can teleport, right? Oh, wait. I know. Okay. I got it. I got it. So, come this way. No? It didn't hear that? Okay. But I did see a switch, so maybe if I hit that, something will happen. Nice. That'll probably go down after a little bit, so I'll have to stand here and make sure it's up for her. Ooh, bombs. I could use bombs. Couldn't I? No, I can't. Nice. Okay. I thought I had to lure over that, uh, that thing so it would, uh, allow her to teleport over the sand. But, so it looks like we need two of us over here. We're gonna do that. Okay, I think I see where this is going. What happens if she stands on this? Those go down. Okay. Go and kill that choo choo for me a minute, because I'm going to be over there. I don't want to have to be constantly running from it. Thank you. Alright, now go stand on that. And then I will go stand on the corresponding one over here. Cool. And we just got to have her teleport and go back over there. So you're gonna go down this way, past these, and hit that. Alright, she's coming over this way. Nice. I need you to go and stop those boulders for me. That worked. Dang it. What? <laughs> okay. Dang. She's strong now. Um, okay. What does that do for us? What does that do for us? I'm trying to think. What does that allow me to do? Oh, it just allows me to get back over there. Okay. Um, go kill that thing for me so I don't get spotted when I run over the sand. here. I have to, we have to get both of us over there. Uh, there's got to be something else we can hit or do to get it over there. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's my original idea. Okay. For that, I need you to walk over here. Actually, no, I, I think it won't react to sound. It has to, like, see me. None of I. No! I need you to, like, get stunned. Okay. Let me stun it. close enough. Let me 
stun thing. Oh, nice. They'll eventually respawn. Yeah. Okay, so see me. Have them spawn right at me. Then come over this way. Stun you. Switch over to you. Teleport to it. Nice. Now, why don't you go over and teleport to him, and I will kill the thing if it spots me, or if it spawns before I can get over there. Is it going to spawn? Is it going to spawn? Ooh, just missed it. Okay. And then we have the key. Okay, let's see. We got that. We have that. What do we got here? Walk from the green to the red tile, drawing this prescribed path. What? What do we even have over here? Oh, I see. Okay. So what's over here? So this is going to be a lot of using Zelda. Okay. Start walking over these spikes because we don't know what this prescribed path is yet. Do we have to mimic his movements? I'm just taking a look around. So I don't know, that's a straight line. Like, what is I don't understand, I guess. Teleport over to this one, and let's start trying to figure this out. I don't understand. I'm just mimicking what the uh, guy on the right is doing.
Is it like this? I'm guessing that's what they mean by prescribed path, right? You have to follow like the set path of the other guy or something? Hey, that was right, okay. Okay, so now teleport back out of there. And then come back over to me. Ooh, wait, blue ruby. Come on, girl. Come on. Hey! Glyph room. That didn't take so long. You found the fire glyph. On one side is a map of the Firelands. Not the Fire Nation. Uh, some of the lost spirit tracks have reappeared. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Ooh, this is different. Ah, so it was you two all along, was it? Oh, that would be the other guy. Trying to restore your sacred spirit tracks? Keeping the tower speared strong. You didn't have to come to this, you know. If you're just minding your own business. Stop. Stop, Sivan. Oh. I have no idea who it is off screen, so I'm just going with what I think. I suspected such a day as this would come. Indeed, I had a premonition the day you left the tower. How many times I corrected your behavior? You never were very good at listening, were you? You were an unworthy apprentice. And now look at you. How can I face the spirits? The spirits sent us here to continue their work. That you would try to resurrect the Demon King. It's unfathomable to me. I have no wish to continue the work of the spirits. Why would I want to serve the spirits when I become as when I can become as powerful as they are? That was the reason I came to study with you. But the spirits never answered me. No matter how hard I worked or how long. They never granted me any more power. When you realize that you, when you really realize, when you realize that your wish will never be granted, what do you do then? The answer was clear: become even more powerful than the spirits themselves. And the only more, being more powerful is Maladus. <sighs> your thoughts are twisted. It's clear the time for saving you has passed. My words would only be lost on you. Hurry to the mountain temple, your highness. Quickly. You two box, restore the spirit tracks. <laughs> but, a gene. Go, at once. <laughs> now then. Shall we begin? Perhaps this time, things will be different.
What was that? <laughs> Are you all right, Fox? Yep, just fine. But Jean, she's up there all by herself now. I guess we just have to believe that she'll be okay. Let's do as she said and go to the mountain temple. We must hurry to restore the spear tracks in time. Okay. Oh. Emulator's getting a little wonky on sounds. Um, okay. So I am going to call the stream here just because there is nobody watching but a bot. Um, so I'm going to call the stream here at the two hour mark. This seems like a good spot to call it. Um, thank you so much for watching on the playback. If you are watching this, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, uh, afternoon, wherever you guys are. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow and I hope you have a good one.